Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my 19th video in React series. Now in this tutorial we are going to make this website okay. We are just going to copy paste the code from bootstrap website and I will explain you how to do this one. Okay if you are not aware of bootstrap then you don't have to worry about this. It's just a simple copy paste code. I'll just explain you how to do this one and we will see how to make this. Okay, here I have this heading. For this heading, I have applied bootstrap classes and here I have this four cards. Okay, we will see how to do that one. Okay, before that, I'll just come to bootstrap website and here I'll just reduce this. You will find this website here. Okay, you will be getting this website. You just have to click on get started. When you come to get started inside components and here you will find this card. You just have to click on this. And here you will be having lots of card okay lots of card design you can see I have this card design I have this card design okay I'm just going to use this one okay here you can see I have this image card title text and button here okay I have just used that one I have changed the title and just I'm just linking the image link here okay now I am just going to copy this code and we are going to make this website now I have deleted the code of this project now if I refresh this one you will see I don't have anything and here I'll be getting an error I have not exported my app component so here inside index.js if you see I have this app component I have this I have imported my app once I import this one I have to export app component so I'll just come to app from here I'll just copy this line import react from react I'll just paste that line here and here I'm going to use bootstrap so in this file I'll be importing bootstrap so I have to import like this import I have to come outside this folder I should go inside this node modules folder inside this I have this bootstrap module inside bootstrap I have one disk folder inside disk I have this CSS folder inside CSS I have this bootstrap dot min dot CSS okay this you have to import now here I'll just create one function I'll give my function name as app inside this function I'll be returning something and here I'll just open the syntactic sugar form because I'll be using multiple JSX elements and here I'll just do export default each component will be having only one default export so I'll just export this function here I'll be pasting that function here I'll save this now if I just refresh this one you can see here that error has gone I don't have anything inside my browser now if I just write here button and for this button I'll just give the class class name I'll be giving C bootstrap classes btn btn I'll just give here danger I'll save this now if I just show you you can see here I have this red button here if I just give some text inside this one I'll give here danger button I'll save this now if I refresh this one my bootstrap classes has been applied successfully which means that I have imported successfully here okay here this modules you can find here this node module is here okay in this folder you will be having this bootstrap folder inside bootstrap you will be having this folder inside this I have CSS folder and inside this I have this bootstrap min.css file I'm just importing that one only then I can use this bootstrap classes if I just don't import this one and if I just refresh this you can see here that classes will not be applied and I'll be having my normal default button here so I have to import this one to use bootstrap now here we are going to create that cards here first I'll be writing h1 and for this h1 I'll be giving the class name class name first I'll give here text center my, I want my text to be in the middle and also I'll be giving text color to be green so I'll give here text success inside this I'll be writing heading I'll just write here bootstrap um, card bootstrap cards I'll save this now you can see here I have this bootstrap cards here now here I don't have any spacing from above I'll just give here margin I'll give one more class here I'll give margin y of 5 which means that top and bottom I'll be getting some margin now you can see I got margin of 5 now below this heading I'll be creating one diff I'll just create one diff and for this I'll give the class name as container inside this diff I'll be creating one diff I'll give the class name as row and this row will be wrapping all my cards and which will be displayed in horizontal row so here I'll just create one class and I'll be giving this class name as call md3 okay in my medium screen I want it to display three cards so I'm just giving here call md3 now inside this div I'll just come to bootstrap and here I told you this code I'm going to copy I'll just copy this one and here I'll just paste that one 
okay now here i am getting an error if i just hover on this it will tell me expected corresponding jss closing tag for image so here inside this diff i have this image and this image should be closed here i'll just save this now you can see here i have this output now if i just come here and if i refresh this one style property okay you can see here we have this style like this okay here in this card i have this style we have already seen that while we are doing inline styling we have to assume that it is an object and it is in javascript so we have to enclose in curly braces here we have just written equal to it will not support i am just going to remove this as of now if you want you can give any inline stylings we have already seen in our previous tutorials now if i now you can see here i have this output my image is not there so here i'll just come to pixels.com you can see here this link pixels.com and i'm just searching for flowers i'll just copy this image address and here instead of src i'm going to paste that one i'll save this now if i just show you you can see here i have this image i'm going to change the title and button text instead of this card title i'll just give here flower one and here instead of this go somewhere i'll be writing here read more read more i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see i'm having this text and button text has been changed i have this image now now i i'll just format the document i'll just format this document now here i have this document now inside this i have to copy this entire card this entire div i have to copy so this div is closing here i'll just copy this one and below this i'll be pasting that one and instead of flower here i have flower 1 here i'll just change to flower 2 and below i'll be changing it to flower 3 and finally i'll just change to flower 4 i'll save this now you can see here i'm having four cards okay if you want you can change the image i'll just change the images now i'll just come here i'll copy this image address and here i'll be pasting that one in in flower 2 i'll be pasting that one again i'll copy this image address in our next tutorials we are going to see how to import images now if i show you the output you can see i have different images i have the text for that okay you can give the same size images i'll just come here i'll copy i'll copy this image address and in place of this i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this now if i show you you can see i have this images i have this button i have this title and also i am having this heading tag okay this is how we are going to use bootstrap to use bootstrap first you have to install bootstrap from npm website or if you want to use directly without installing bootstrap then you can just copy that css link and javascript link i'll just show you i'll just come to home get started introduction and here this link you can just copy and paste this link inside index.html i'll show you in my next tutorial but this is how we are going to use this bootstrap in react you can see here we have just created simple card list now we have seen this how to do and we are done with our practice program 5 okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day